I'll show you how I've connected my cables and uh, the readings as well of uh, what uh, what kind of uh, CPU idle temperatures that I'm getting uh, with my uh, Intel i7 uh, 6800K uh, processor and the NZXT uh, cooler uh, Kraken X61. Uh, I'm running uh, for now. I am uh, using my old uh, GTX Trix, uh, which is a, a 970 graphic card. I'll be investing in a Titan X later, maybe next year. Uh, I have to save up before I'm going to do that. The right side you can see I have uh, installed the radiator successfully. Uh, I've taken the tubing from the top. My Master Box 5 doesn't have vents on the top, so I had no choice but to install the radiator on the right. And I did take out one of the fans that came with the uh, Master Box 5. All right. And uh, I'll uh, show you uh, how I've done the cablings. Uh, just so if you're installing the X99 uh, motherboard with the, uh, with the Karaken cooler, you know how to run the cable. When I was connecting the pump to the motherboard, I had a choice. I'll, uh, I'll try to zoom in so you guys get a better idea. As you can see, on the top left side, I have the CPU, uh, it says water pump, water pump fan, then I have the CPU fan, and then I have an optional CPU fan. Now what I decided to do, I went by the manual of the NZXT website. I installed the, the, uh, uh, the power directly to the CPU fan. I did not choose the water pump, so I don't get the CPU error in my BIOS or in my computer. The uh, cable running from the pump, which is connected to the fans, both are connected. I'll show you. I'll try to zoom in there as well, so you guys, I guess, get an idea. All right, both the fans, uh, there are uh, cables running, um, running from the sides. All right, and they are connecting to the water pump. I installed uh, one of the Karaken X61 uh, USB to the USB header of my motherboard. That's about it. That's. Uh, it's very easy to get it started and uh, the rest of the cabling is self-explanatory. So these colors can be uh, changed. You can change the Republic of uh, Gamers uh, color. LED, you, you can choose from all the colors you want. There is a, there is a software to do that and uh, with idle reading temperatures, let's uh, go to that now. All right, so uh, let me go to the uh, the software. All right, you can install the cam software from the NZXT website, and as you can see, my CPU temperatures are very fine, 28 degrees, 4 percent, running at 4 percent. I'm downloading. I'm installing a game. I'm installing the Division. Um, so I uh, have the GPU reading at 44 degrees at 1 percent. Uh, because the fan is hardly running. I don't think so. Fan is not running at all. And uh, I have, uh, I'm using only 3.3 uh, GB of RAM. So I have uh, 32 GB module installed, DDR4, running at approximately, I think it's at uh, 2333 or 3000 megahertz. The Kraken pump RPM is 1920, and the fan RPM is 900, all right. Uh, it's running at uh, silent mode, and uh, I have, uh, I have not changed to gaming performance mode as of yet. So I'll switch back so you get a bigger, uh, better picture of uh, the cam software. All right, 27 degrees, which is a very decent temperature. Load is only at 2%. I can do a stress, stress test as well. 44 degrees is the Nvidia, but you have to remember that my graphic card fan is not, uh, it's not, it's currently silent. It only comes up when it goes above 50 degrees. Maybe I should change the setting. Anyway, but let's get to the point. 3.33 GB used. All right, so uh, I'm using a Samsung SSD as well. Plus I'm using a Kingston SUV S3 500 GB USB as well. So liquid temperature is 39 degrees. I looked, at, looked up on the internet and it's fine. There is nothing wrong with it at 39 degrees. Fan speed at 29. So it's all running great. Uh, there are more, uh, the, so that's about it. That's about the uh, uh, Karaken, and you can change the color, all right? So I go to uh, changing color. If I don't like this color, say I want to, I want to, I like red color. So I do OK, and I do, the moment I press update LED, I'll, I'll go back to my uh, NZXT pump, 
there is my NZXT pump and the moment I press update LED the pump becomes kind of red. It looks like the green color, I go to green, I press update LED, it's green. Now green looks much better, I'll keep it at green. And uh, there are various options that uh, we, can, we can actually use. We can, uh, we can do alternating, blinking mode, and uh, yada, yada, yada. We can change the mode as well. If you we do change mode, uh, we can uh, do a lot of changes as well with the silent mode. Or, uh, you know, if you want to change the fan speed and all that. But I'm going to keep it just the way it is for now. So that's about it. That's the NZXT cam software that you can install from uh, their website. I'll switch to the mini cam now. I'll be doing uh, more tests, gaming tests with the Battlefield 1, the CPU stress tests and other tests as well. But the Karaken is a really, really good cooler. It has a six year warranty. I highly recommend you go for it. Everything is great. The radiator is good. The fans are decent. I don't hear any noises. It's, it's very silent and it's a good buy so thanks for watching and do subscribe to my youtube channel